This is part two of two parts that are directed at answering ChemThink questions for par the particulate nature of matter. And the first part covered seven questions, and this will cover three or four more. Um, <clears throat> at any rate, given the key at the left, check the box, the box, of the formula that best describes. So when you see the box, that tells you it's probably only one answer. And best tells you for sure there's only one answer. So let's go ahead and look at what we have here. We have one nitrogen. Yeah, one nitrogen, the blue guy. I'm pointing right here. And three O's, which are for hydrogen. Three, uh, I'm sorry, whites. Three whites that are for hydrogen. So we've got three of these molecules that represent three molecules of a compound that is one nitrogen and three hydrogens. So each of these is the same. And so we only have one kind of thing here. So as we look at these things, let's go ahead and see if we can rule anything out. You see anything in there where a nitrogen is all alone? Now I'm, I'm wondering about this guy first. Because I, I, I want to rule this one out. I can tell for sure. But I want to make sure you can tell for sure. And that is, I don't see here a nitrogen. This is the nitrogen here by itself. Nor do I see hydrogens by themselves. They're hooked up in molecules, which means they're part of compounds, and they can't be as they're represented here, which is elements. So let's get rid of these guys. Now, it says N3H. The 3 refers to the nitrogen. So we're not going to be using that one. That's definitely not good. Because we see there, they're trying to say here we have three molecules that have three nitrogens and one hydrogen, which is the three molecules is correct, but in the molecule there's only one nitrogen and three hydrogens. So we can rule this guy out. Oh, it's getting easier, isn't it? Now, this guy here looks good. Let's check it out. There's supposed to be three of these units. So I look over here and I see one unit that is one nitrogen and one, two, three hydrogens. And that, that, that describes this perfectly. Now let's look at this guy. One nitrogen and one hydrogen three times. Uh -uh, no way. One nitrogen and three hydrogens must, must be. Okay, so this guy goes away. And, <coughs> excuse me, this one represents our correct answer. And now we can move on. So, submit. And let's get rid of the jump on the screen. Now, what I've done is I've prepared this screen for you to zero in on certain things to interpret the question. First of all here, check the box next to each. So V could have been just one answer, but now it says each image. So each tells you that there can be more than one image that qualifies. And what do they have to qualify on? They have to represent a sample that has both solid element and gaseous compound. Okay, let's see. Do we have anything in here that ha doesn't have either one? Now, I'm going to look over here at this box. Right here. That box looks like a liquid to me. That is the dead giveaway of a liquid. So, liquid is ruling out that it's a solid. There's no solid in there because there's nothing packed together and jiggling. So there's no gas in there either. Okay, so we're, we're coming up with a blank here. So I'm going to rule this guy out. This one doesn't make any sense. Now, it says solid and a gas. The solid has to be the, an element. Well, I don't see any solid at all in this box, so I'm going to rule this guy out. All I see is gases. I see a gaseous element, 
see the gray guys, and the blue with three uh, whites. Okay, I see two different kinds of things. There's an element and a compound in here, but the element isn't solid. Now here, aha, this guy here has a solid element. Okay, just as pure as could be, and it's solid because it's sitting there shaking, and you know that that's got to be a solid. So, solid element, and ha, ah, the, the compound, gaseous compound, there he is, the blue with three whites. So, this guy is a definite, I'm going to check him, and now let's look down here. Here, I see a solid, but this is grays with two reds. So, that's a compound as a solid, and it wants a solid element. Okay, so that's ruled out right away. It's just not going to work. And the two blues that are bipping around in there, uh, the guys with two blue circles, okay, those guys are an element, and that element is a gas. And the gas is supposed to be a compound. So we can rule that out for sure. And we only have one correct answer. So we can submit and go on to the next. Okay, we got eight correct. We have to get ten correct to be able to get credit. On this question, check the box. Okay, there's the, uh, but we have the each. Okay, so there could be more than one answer. Doesn't have to be more than one answer, but there could be more than one answer. So let's go ahead and read the questions and would check the box of each statement that is true about the sample. So here's our sample in this box. And what's true about this sample? Well, the first one says, right here, there are no individual atoms present. I beg to differ. Okay, we're looking for stuff that is true. Let me circle that in red. Wow, we want the true stuff. We don't want the false stuff. So, here we go. Is this true? There are no individual atoms present. That's an individual atom. That's an individual atom. So, I get to rule this one out. You're gone, baby. Now, next, there are two compounds present. Okay, this is a compound composed of two blues and a red. This is two blues and a red, so they're the same, same kind of molecule, and that means there's no two compounds, so this guy is gone. Not true, okay? There are no molecules present. I beg to differ. There are two molecules present, here and here. So we get to rule that guy out. Now, the next one says there are only compounds present. That is not true. We have here a compound and an element. So this guy's gone. Ah, there's only one left. This is a mixture. Of course it is. It's a mixture, by the way, of an element because of these guys and the compound because of these two guys. And there's our answer, and we're ready for one more. Now, I'm going to miss a few questions just so that we can have more questions to give you experience with. And you can go ahead and either uh, not choose to watch or choose to watch you're going to get a lot better handle on this if you'll watch it all. So I've got nine correct, and I'm going to miss one, but I'm going to give you the rationale for the correct answers first. Okay, check the box of each statement. Ah, each. That's a giveaway, isn't it? Each statement tells us that we could have more than one, and we're looking for true about the sample below. Okay, so we look in here. 
And let's get ourselves a little pointer up here so that we can see what's going on as I point. This is a solid. Okay, the way these things are moving, they don't represent a solid because a solid has to be packed together and jiggling. So this guy is false. So we're just going to cross him out. See, the strategy is to rule things out as much as you can. Now here it says, there are two compounds present. Hmm, let's look. Let's see, here's the blue with four, or with three whites. Here's a gray with two reds. Is there anything else? Here's a gray, two reds. Hmm, gray, two reds. Gray, two reds. Got to look at it for a while. Oh, no, what is this? Oh, this guy here. What do we have? Is that two grays? That looks like two grays. Hmm. Mostly grays and two reds and blue with four whites. It looked to me like we had something different there. I'll watch this for a while to see what you actually have. Oh, that, that's a red with uh, two reds with a gray. Two, two reds with a gray. All right. I think I'm, I'm satisfied. It's just a, a two reds and a gray and a blue with four whites. So that represents two different compounds. And so I can check that one. There are no molecules present. Oh, that's terrible to say that. That is just not true. This is a mixture. I'd buy that one any time today. Why would I buy that one? It's a mixture because you have two different kinds of molecules. Okay? And this is a pure substance. No way. A pure substance is not a mixture. A mixture will never be a pure substance. So we're going to rule that guy out. So we have two correct answers here. Now I'm going to go ahead and mark this guy incorrectly. And you, I hope you all understand now why that is incorrect. And when I submit, you'll see my my number correct, uh, incorrect is going to go up. Okay? So let's go ahead. Uh, we, we understand why it's incorrect, so we can just move on to the next screen. If you don't understand why something's incorrect when you make a mistake, you need to write down what's going on and come to me and find out why. Okay? Now I can't make any more wrong answers to get more questions to you, but let's go on anyway and see if we can go ahead and get this all correct. Okay, here we go. Check the box of each. Okay, this guy right here, each, tells us that there's a possibility to have more than one correct answer. So, check the box of each statement that is true about the sample below. Okay, let's see if this guy's true. There are no compounds present. Okay, do you see anything running around there with two kinds of atoms? And it looks like we have a solid down here. And then we have these, these other guys bipping around here that are little single dudes. Because of my partial color blindness, I'm not sure whether that's gray or a, a pink. But at any rate, we have two. I'm sure that we have two different kinds of things. One is an element, the little single balls out there. And these guys in here are all one kind of element. So we have two elements here. One's in the solid state and one's in the gas state. So let's see. There are no compounds. This is a true statement. Okay, so we're looking for what's true. Now as I look here, I say there are no compounds present. I would say that is true. Now let's go, there are two different elements present. Absolutely there are two different elements, and I identified those for you already. There are no molecules present. That is a true statement. Wow, lots of truths here, huh? I, I don't see anything running around there that has two kinds of atoms. Okay? The solid is all by itself, and this gas that's bipping around out here, there's only one kind of atom in each of those. So, we have an element and an element. Now, there is a liquid present. 
That is a false one. So I can definitely rule that one out. There's no liquid there at all. We know what liquids look like. And there is a solid present. That is true. Wow! This is the first one I've seen where there's four correct answers. But there are definitely four correct answers. And that's all we're going to get for the question. So let's go ahead and get our credit. And yay, we are happy. This is what everybody wants to see when they finish their last question. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope this helps. So.